Welcome back guys. I am here with you to solve this problem number 28 of CSIR net December 2011. So this is a question from the topic analysis. So let us firstly read it. Define f such that 0 1 to 0 1 by fx is equal to 2 to the power k minus 1 over 2 to the power k over this domain where k is greater than or equal to 1. Then f is a Riemann integral function such that its integration over 0 to 1 is 2 by 3. Its integration over 0 to 1 lies between 1 by 2 and 2 by 3. Its integration between 0 to 1 is equal to 1 and this one inequality also. Okay. So these are your options. So that means what you have to do, you have to find the integration of this function 0 to 1. You are getting my point or not? Okay. So you need to evaluate 0 to 1 fx dx. This is what you need to evaluate. But before that, you need to understand what is your function, okay. So, f is a function on 0, 1 to 0, 1 given by, okay, I will write in, in a short form. So, let us divide by 2 to the power k, then what you will get? You will get expression like this, okay. I will do the same thing here. So, what you will get? You will get this thing. From here, you will again get this thing okay now let us see for some k okay for some values of k how your function look then you will actually get the idea how to solve this question so let us put k is equal to 1 then what you are getting firstly see this thing if you are putting k is equal to 1 then your function is 1 minus 1 over 2 k 2 okay but this is not important this thing is important that what will be your domain so if you are putting k is equal to 1 then you are getting 0 here and 1 by 2 here. You are getting one point? Now just put k is equal to 2. Then what you will get? You will get this as your function over what domain? If you are putting k is equal to 2, then you will get 1 by 2 over here and 1 minus 1 over 2 square over here. Right. If you will put k is equal to 3, then what will happen? You will get 1 minus 1 over 2 cube here and x belonging to 1 minus 1 by 2 square comma 1 minus 1 by 2 q. This is what you are getting. Now see there is a relation between these domain. This thing is common in every part. Okay, In the next one it will be common. right? So what is the importance of this? The importance of this is that if we have integration from 0 to 1, I can actually break it. I can actually break it from 0 to 1 by 2 plus Okay, this 1 by 2 and then 1 by 2 to 1 minus 1 by 2 square plus okay, plus uh, 1 minus 1 by 2 square to the next one. Okay, you are getting my point or not? I am using this inequality. If A is less than C is less than B, then integration over A to B is actually equal to A to C and then C to B. So, this thing must be common, right? You are getting my point or not? So, in this thing, this must be common. Okay. So, now I will erase and I will then actually integrate your question. Okay. So, I am erasing this. Now, let us find out your integration. Now, see what is your integration? Your integration is 0 to 1 fx dx. Now you know that you can partition this domain actually, okay. I will write here. You can partition this domain. How can you partition it? Okay, I'm just going to use these one, not these one, okay. So you can partition it like this. 2 to the power k minus 1, minus 1 over 2 to the power k minus 1. To 2 to the power k minus 1 over 2 to the power k. And what is the summation will be here from k is equal to 1 to infinity. Okay. You can partition 0 to 1 like this. Okay. You are getting my point or not? The, the, the example that I have shown you that for k is equal to 1, this will happen. For k is equal to 2, this will happen. After this, you can figure out this that your integration can actually be written as this. Okay. You just have to think over a little bit over, over this thing. Okay. It, this is from this step to this step. It's very easy. Okay. Just do it for k is equal to 1, 2, 3, then you will actually know that why it is happening. Now, for this 
domain what is the value of fx for this domain the value of fx is this 2 to the power k minus 1 over 2 to the power k okay now this is constant therefore the integration will be summation k is equal to 1 to infinity 2 to the power k minus 1 over 2 to the power k now here you will get 2 to the power k minus 1 over 2 to the power k minus this thing okay this is what you will get okay now just take lcm lcm with it so you, you can either take lcm or let us say you, you you just take 2 to the power k minus 1 common and then take lcm okay so firstly i am going to take one by two to the power k minus one as common then what will be left here two will be left here and there is no two here so i will take the lcm then so you will get two to the power k minus one minus two to the power k minus two okay this is what you will get now this will be, one will be cancelled by this okay right so this thing is one over two okay mm, this is oh okay this is one over two so from here what you are getting 2 to the power k minus 1 over so by this 2 and 2, 2 to the power k minus 1 you will get 2 to the power 2k here okay this is the final expression that you are getting so what i am going to do i will just separate these two things okay so in the first one you will get 2 to the power k and in the second one you will get 2 to the power 2k okay now okay now this expression will be finite therefore i can okay this expression will be finite therefore i can take summation inside so i'm going to calculate this one minus summation 1 over 2 to the power 2k k is equal to 1 to infinity okay now see this one is a gp okay gp with ratio 1 over 2 this one is again a gp but its ratio is 1 over 4 okay so these are the two gp and for a gp let us suppose you have a gp with uh, with ratio less than 1 okay let us suppose this is your gp okay so this is a sum of infinite gp with ratio okay condition is that ratio should be less than 1 now suppose this is an infinite gp with ratio less than 1 then its sum is given by a over 1 minus r you are getting my point so this is the thing that you must remember while solving this question now after this thing you can actually find out the sum of this thing and sum of this thing so i am not going to evaluate the answer will be 2 over 3 okay this is what you can evaluate otherwise this video will be longer this is what you can evaluate yourself by using this formula okay it's very easy so from here what you are getting that your answer is 2 over 3 and remaining answers are false okay so what is the catch point for this question the catch point is that the integration 0 to 1 can actually be partitioned into its sub interval okay you are getting my point so for just see for k is equal to 1 for k is equal to 2 and for k is equal to 3 what is your function and on which domain you will get which domain you will get so from there you can actually see that you can partition 0 to 1 into this like this structure and just finding out this sum then you are done with your question you are getting my point so this was an easy question just you need to spend some minute okay one or two minute to from this step to coming from this step to this step will take uh, about two minutes okay and then after that this is very easy okay this is very easy question after that okay so thank you guys